Hello guys, Reza here. The day we were waiting for is here. Epic Games just released 500 free animations with the game sample projects on the marketplace. This project includes dynamic and functional animation systems, ideal for learning and kickstarting your own creations using best practices. For AAA developers, the sample acts as a sandbox for pre-production, understanding Unreal Engine gameplay, animation features, and learning motion matching techniques. For indie developers, it offers plug-and-play locomotion and hundreds of game-ready animations compatible with all Unreal Engine mannequins. The animations, created from high-end motion capture data, are perfect for character animation including MetaHuman. Let's open up the level and have a look at the components that we have available with this project. Hopefully this quick guide will help you to get comfortable with using this scene, especially if you are new to Unreal Engine. Remember, the primary takeaway for beginners is the motion matching capability showcased here. The project features multiple motion matching databases, allowing for detailed control over animation fidelity using pose wrapping algorithms to fill gaps. Right off the bat, when I enter the scene, I have a few buttons that provide me information about the scene. Fear obstacles are showcased here to demonstrate these motion matching capabilities once the characters start walking and running. The starting point is right on top of this uh, big cross icon which you can reposition if needed and if the flickering elements in the scene are a bit annoying you can always press g on the keyboard or turn on the game mode to get rid of them and you can start your game few tips on how to navigate around the scene you can use w s a d w to move forward s to move backward to step to the left hand side you press a and to the right hand side press D. You can hold the right mouse button and use the arrow keys to do the exact same thing. The key takeaway is how the character moves seamlessly blending different types of movements using motion matching. That's simply incredible. You can change the environment by selecting different styles. Step on the dark and the environment gets a bit dark you can do the same thing with light or colorful the game engine animation widget view control and the readme button provide information and hints about what's coming in unreal engine 5.5 for example if you step on the widget button you can change the frame rate enable or disable the collision switch between different characters, models like mannequins from Unreal Engine, the Echo character, Keelan, one of the metahumans introduced by Epic Games. In the view control section, there are useful options for moving the camera and the character. You can hold down the left control key on your keyboard with W and walk the character instead of running. And there are options for sprinting or crouching coming in 5.5. I believe for sprint is left shift and for crouch is the letter C on your keyboard. So stay tuned on that. You can also hold this space bar to jump over the obstacles and use the middle mouse button to distance yourself from the character or the right mouse button to focus on the character. I move forward and jump over the obstacle, noticing how smoothly the animations transition. This showcases the power of match moving, a feature recently introduced and to be expanded in Unreal Engine 5.5. I cannot wait to show you how to integrate these elements to create motion matching for your projects. It's surprisingly easy to put these together and I will be providing a step-by-step -step tutorial very soon. All right, stay tuned on this channel for more updates. 
Epic Games will hold a press conference tomorrow to expand on these features and I hope we get to see the magic unfold. More details will be available on this channel later. Talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video.